Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Susan and Family TV. So, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. As for me and my daughter, we are doing super, 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 super great by His grace. Amen. And we wish the same for you all out there. Amen. So, beautiful people, welcome to another cooking video from Susan and Family TV. So, today I'm about to show you how to roast scobian fish with smart fryer so last year we did a video before but we didn't cut the fish you know so we just folded the fish and put it in the smart fryer and it came out perfectly it was too yummy so today we decide to make another video of it but today we cut the fish so first we are going to try to season the fish before we put it in the smart fryer so beautiful people let's get started so beautiful people first thing we are going to do we are going to try to add cubes of mangi you can use one cube of mangi you know so i'm using two because i want the scobian fish to have a very yummy taste when it's roasted so we are going to add our garlic is grounded garlic we are using And add little more of garlic. This is also grounded garlic. Okay, so we are going to add some curry. You can also roast the fish without curry, so depends on how you want the fish to taste, you know. So here is it. So we are going to add some grounded pepper, light grounded pepper. So now I'm just going to try to use my hand, you know, to mix the ingredients good with our scobian fish, you know. So here is it. It's so easy procedure to follow. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, mix the ingredient good. See you guys later. So beautiful people here we are as you can see i mixed it good the ingredient already with the fish so i'm just going to allow this fish for like five to like okay seven to ten minutes you know so i want the ingredient to season really good in the fish you know before putting it in the smart fryer for roasting so see you guys later let's allow this fish to season for 10 minutes see you guys later so beautiful people it's already like almost 10 minutes now so i think the fish is seasoned already good so i'm just going to put it in the smart fryer and so see you guys later so here is it guys let's go ahead and put it in the smart fryer so see you guys so here is it i'm going to time it first in 20 minutes so after 20 minutes beautiful people i'm going to show you guys how roasted fish is if it's still going to need some more minutes so let's try to allow it to roast for 20 minutes first so see you guys later this is how it tastes now the fish before you know before we started roasting it so after roasting the fish we are going to see how the fish is going to turn out So beautiful people, as you can see, it's already 20 minutes and the fish, scobian fish, is not roasted good already for eating. So I'm going to allow it again for another 20 minutes. So see you guys later. It's already getting prepared for getting roasted. So here is it. So see you guys later. I'm adding another 20 minutes. So beautiful people here we are as you can see the scobian fish is almost getting ready to be re-roasted for eating so here is it we are still going to allow it you know for it to roast more so after 40 minutes this is how it is now so we are going to allow it you know for it to roast more you know like I'm going to try to turn it you can see this side is not roasted the upper side I will try to turn it this way. I'm going to allow it again for another 15 minutes. So see you guys later. 
So yeah, we have beautiful people. Our scobian fish is already roasted perfectly good for yummy eating. So as you can see, the both side is roasted. You know, I told it. So you can see that you can use smart fryer also to roast fish, you know. So we did a video before last year, you know, so we just did another video of it, how to roast scobian fish with smart fryer so as you can see came out perfectly good so i hope you are going to try it out so it's ready for eating yummy yummy roasted scobian fish with smart fryer guys later so here we are beautiful people our mukbang is ready for eating come on join us as you can see our yummy roasted scooby and fish is here we have over there also rice and we have pepper sauce and we have our roasted ripe plantain so if you guys want to know how i made the pepper sauce and the roasted ripe plantain i did a video already of it try to click on it so you can know how i made it so here is it our mukbang is ready come on join us here is our roasted scooby and fish yummy yummy over here is our roasted ripe plantain yummy over there is our rice and our pepper sauce so thanks for watching hope you learned something from this video and please don't forget to subscribe to susan and family tv subscription is free Please do support our shining and please don't forget to press the notification bell that anytime we upload videos, you will be the first to be noticed and please do share this video. See you in our next video by Is Grace and don't forget we also have another channel called Susan Love TV and we also have kids china because kids are adorable tv so thanks for watching you are free come and join us to enjoy our yummy homemade mukbang as you can see all this yummy mukbang i prepared them myself you can see the smoke coming out of it all so thanks for watching see you in our next video by his grace we love you Remain blessed from Susan and Family TV. Mwah.